Jamnagar has demonstrated unquestionably to the world is if we can dream it, we can do it. Well, my father uh, Dhirubhai Ambani's vision really is and what is imbibed uh, in each one of us that whatever you do has to be world class. Hello guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel of The Concept Guy and today we have a very interesting topic with us and that is how did Reliance Industries start? Wow, that's a great topic I guess and so we'll just get to know how such a big industry that's today started from a small room of about 350 square feet room to such a large industry. As you can all you also know the Jamnagar refinery is declared the world's largest refinery. So how did it all started? Let's see. So, from a polyester firm that did textiles business to petrochemicals refinery to telecommunication to media to geo. So, how it all started? Well, let's see. The story is really interesting and I hope you will like it. So, I have I've here a timeline with me. So, how the various events took place and we will first know that there was this legend, legend business, legendary businessman named, yes, Dhiraj Lal Hirachand Ambani that is also known as Dhirubhai Ambani. So this man is the founder of Reliance and he was born in a village school teacher's house. I mean, can you really imagine in a village and that to a school teacher's son. So it was something that his father was not, his father's name was Hirachand Ambani, was not a businessman himself. It was Dhirubhai Ambani's self-owned and self-emerged Reliance. So he was born in Chorbad. Gujarat in 1932 and then let's see what happened so after clearing 10th in 1948 uh, he went Dhirubhai Ambani went to work in Eden Eden is a, a state you can say uh, in Yemen okay so to work for a Bessay and company so a Bessay and company is a trading firm and it's really renowned okay also uh, he went from India to there because at that time his father was sick and he wanted to earn for his family so this was a really life-changing moment for Dhirubhai Ambani and he was in a trading firm so got to learn most of the things that he could use in the future. In 1957 Mukesh Ambani was born in Yemen. Okay, So Mukesh Ambani was born during the period when Dhirubhai, Dhirubhai Ambani was working in Yemen and Dhirubhai Ambani was a really hard working person. He get to know accounting, trading, how stocks really worked out there, how the firm worked in a way. He was a clerk but he, get, he was very uh, curious about all the stuff that was going there and was really very much interested in business so he also learned money management and other things out there and even worked for free to just to learn how to deal with all this trading and business okay so 1957 Mukesh Ambani was born in Yemen in 1958 so at that time Yemen was having some uh, political movement out there so uh, now it was high time for Dhirubhai Ambani to leave Eden and start his own business in India uh, his skills were already developed by this time because he had worked for about eight to nine years in Yemen. So he came back to India and started Majin. Majin with Damani. Damani was one of his cousins, and he started it with him with a partnership. And so this is a company. This is a partnership, not a company actually. And they imported yarn and exported spices. Okay, so it was just to import yarn, polyester yarn, and export spices, and that's how they made the business. Not much of a profit, you can say. But Reliance Commercial Corporation was started here. It was a 350 square feet room in Magic Bundar. Okay, so the Reliance Commercial Corporation started from here. Next, Ambani was a risk taker. So he was a risk taker while Damani, his cousin, was somewhat a mild businessman. He didn't want to take much of that risk. So Ambani broke his partnership with him in 1965. So you guess, in 1932, born Dhirubhai Ambani, then 1948, he went to Yemen. 1957 Mukesh Ambani was born, 1958 he came back to India, started his own Majin with Damani, then broke the partnership with him and then in 1965 this was the high time that Ambani was off its own, okay, so no partnership as such. Then he launched Vimal and that sold polyester, so polyester yarn was the main business at that time of Dhirubhai Ambani. Till now the petrochemicals section hasn't come yet, okay, but uh, in Yemen as we can we have seen that uh, he worked for ABSA and Co. So a unit of ABSA and Co. was uh, involved in this petrochemicals stuff and uh, Ambani went there to work as well. And he learned how to handle this oil, gas and stuff, all that. Okay. So next, as you see, the beer, car beer cartel. So this was a, a 
like a challenging moment for him. So Bill Cardell, a stock, uh, stock uh, broker a company in Calcutta at that time, started to short sell the stocks of Reliance. Okay, so what uh, Dhirubhai Ambani's presence of mind here was that he bought that all those stocks, his own stocks, and then then there was a serious conflict that the bear cartel had to provide stocks of Reliance at a at a higher rate. Okay, because uh, there was some Bombay Bombay stock market order to bear cartel that led him to buy Reliance uh, stocks at high prices and then sell it. So that made Ambani really rich. In 1973, Reliance Industries was formed. Okay, in 1973, that took a lot of time. So 1948 to 1973, it it was a really great gap. Okay, then the commission uh, comm commissioning of Jamnagar plant in 1999. Okay, I will tell you the story about it in uh, the next slide. Of course, it was it is a really great story. Okay, and then Dhiruvai Amani died in 2002. And the company split into two parts. And lastly, Jio was founded in 2007 and was really widespread in 2015, as we all know that. And it's one of the most used telecommunication networks right now in India. So 1999, Jamnagar Refinery, Gujarat, India. So Gujarat is in the western coast of Indian part and around 750-7500 acres of barren land was used for this Jamnagar Refinery at that time. And with an investment of $6 billion. So as you can see that such large amount of investment was not done just by... Uh, um, Ambani him, himself, but actually there were more and more shareholders of this refinery. Much of that being Dhirubhai Ambani's shares. Then Reliance, Reliance Petroleum Limited was formed here and the finest tech from the global, giant, global giants like UOP, Universal Oil Products, Linde, Black and Wirth, Richard, Foster Wheeler, etc. Et all these global giants came up to actually build this one of the largest refinery in the world. So at that time it was largest in India. Then slowly, uh, slowly and slowly it was built in 1999 and now it's the largest in the world. So Bechtel, Bechtel was the company behind whole of the project management and it's the main company that led to all the utilities and all the process equipments, how the process will work. So Bechtel was behind it. It, it also had a onshore crane of largest capacity at that time, 1600 megatons and 170 kilometer road. So that's the length of the road. So this was a huge area, right? And 43 chimneys and flares, come on, that's a huge, huge number. And then there was also a training center. So actually Dhirubhai Ambani wanted to keep the uh, industry and all his businesses to the world class level and the best of the best. And there were 50 servers, but, but, but the main point here comes here is that in June 1998, a cyclone hit that area, hit the refinery. But everyone worked day and night to put the refinery back. So a lot of destruction take place. There was serious, seriously, really big, big disasters that at that time, the equipments, the towers, everything just broke up. But, but these people, they put it back in schedule in just 12 days. So 12 days is a really short time to actually do that. So it's really neat that we put our in hard work and nothing is impossible. In another 50 days, 60 K 60,000 workers came back to work after the cyclone. Come on, like 27 days after the cyclone, the workers came back to work. November 1998, first gas turbine commission and then slowly and gradually, December and then March, then July, the all those units were actually commissioned. And in September 1999, the main unit was actually commissioned and it was like the final time to actually launch the industry. So the FCC, fluidized catal catalytic converter was commissioned and all this of uh, industrial uh, procedure took place in just 36 months. And in December 1999, largest family of shareholders celebrated their joy and success by the commissioning of the Jamdam Nagar plant refinery. It also had a largest tank farm. So big tanks were actually there and a largest coker in the world. So today, a money group that is called Reliance is a multinational conglomerate company and has headquarters at Mumbai, Maharashtra. Let's see what Mukesh Ambani at that time, that time told us to the media. At Jamnagar, we have really doubled the entire Reliance Group in two and a half years. In 20 years, Reliance has built $6 billion of assets at Naroda, Patalganga, and Disney. And in the last two and a half years, we have...